Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Jimmy Williams. A lot of you know me from my, uh, my platforms online, all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and soon to be LinkedIn. We are trying to expand. Uh, I have a very special show and guest for you today. Please stop whatever you're doing and give me 45 minutes to an hour of your time. I have a powerhouse with me today. One of my wife and I, we have one of our dear friends, and she is, you know, she's one of the greatest, I would say one of the best professionals at what she does I've ever met. And very humble. She has a spirit of humility, loves the most high. I always talk about that. Y'all know because this is my show, I can talk about him. And she loves him. She has a special anointing and a gifting to teach others about money, teach others about personal growth and development, basically teaching you how to have a better and a greater self-image. And uh, as you can see, she's powerful at what she does. She has the credibility, she's paid the price. And she is a real doctor. She went to school to, to be a doctor. I mean, not one of these ones that, you know, they, they, they get the honorary doctor degree. She has put the work in for it. Her name is Dr. Shimona Wimberly. Shimona Wimberly. Shimona, did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, you did. Okay, okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, she's a best-selling author, speaker, television radio host, and I'm talking about international. And she's also known as the money coach. I have a couple things I wanna read about her really, really quick. And uh, we're gonna just turn her loose and let her share her heart with you of her story of how she got into what she's, in, what she's into. And then hopefully she's gonna share some of the tips, some of the secrets I think that will be very uh, instrumental and profitable for your businesses. And then if you guys would like to move forward with her in her program, I'm gonna leave her information. Wherever you see this posted, you can contact her directly and you can have direct access to her. And uh, again, she's not free, you know, cause this is real mentoring and coaching. Mm -hmm. However, you know, you know, more than likely she'll work with you where you are, but you have to be serious because this woman of God is serious. Uh, she's one of the best I've ever seen. And she's very professional. She's very articulate, uh, very educated. And she has a spirit of humility. Humility to me is far, far supersedes any, upon, any amount of information you can ever have because I've seen a lot of smart people who were puffed up and they're not approachable. But she's Come not on. like yeah, but she's not like that. <laughs> you know, she she has the education, but she has the that ability to go and reach people. And in this business, even in real estate, because you guys see me in real estate, and it's not mostly about real estate today, but no matter what niche you are, you have to be in a business where you 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 have to understand you're dealing with people. So if you need to go out and learn and get more people skills, I'm going to recommend that you do that. You cannot make a ton of money being around people and you just hate them. That's not how you build real wealth. And pretty soon it'll come across. And from day one, I've got, I've got this vibe from her, this transparency that she really loves people and she loves me and my wife. And she also sent us some clients with our real estate and, and our financing business. And she's actually a broker as well, but I'll let her tell all of that. But today it's all about what she has to say in her story. So let me just tell you a little bit about her. Um, the first thing I wanna say is her overall vision is to impart strategies. Okay, and those strategies are particularly for money management, credit, and uh, strategic planning. Okay, so I always tell you guys, you know, there's two sides of real estate. There's the buy, acquiring the property. You know, when you acquire, you have to get the financing. And generally, if you don't have cash, you need to have the credit. So she talks about, you know, how money works and helping you with getting the good credit and how important those things are when it comes to business. Uh, she also developed a series of workshops titled your financial future matters. So you may want to ask her more about that a little bit later. And she, she created over through, throughout her financial career. So it's not just lip service, it's things she's been through and, and principles that she's applied. Okay. Uh, also, she is, uh, let's see, let me, let me make sure I'm looking at this right. Throughout her financial career as a coach and uh, manager, she has assisted thousands of individuals achieve financial freedom and home ownership. Shimona calls herself, and we call her, we know her to be, the money coach. Okay? And God has all, has helped, pardon me, God has also revealed to her the title faith agent. I'm going to let her explain what that means in a moment. Now, she is the CEO and founder of the Success Strategist Institute. Inc. She's an author, speaker, television, radio host. I told you all that. As a certified life coach with over 28 years of experience and managing and coaching, 
Dr. Reveille is always ready to impart excellence into others. I love that about her. She has a spirit of excellence. She has been in the banking and financial industry for over 20 years. Uh, through her first, pardon me, through her own financial struggles and her awareness that so many others were experiencing the same cycles, she became passionate and wanting to help others to break the cycle. We're going to, listen to this guys, she wants to help you break that cycle. Some people don't care, okay? And that's how you know a true leader, a true mentor, doesn't really care about acquiring as much as they do about giving and dispersing. That's a, that's a major part of true leadership, okay? Here's a vision statement. My mission is to motivate, educate, and impact individuals and businesses to achieve a balanced lifestyle. We will achieve this by implementing strategies to holistically establish a financial, spiritual, and mentally healthy lifestyle, okay? Powerful, powerful, powerful. If I read a resume, guys, some of you would be very, very intimidated. I'm not gonna go through that, but uh, it's, <laughs> I, I, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, because really some people get, unfortunately some people before they really get to know you to look at your resume go, oh, you know, I can't afford her and that kind of, that's not it at all. You have to understand that people who pay the price, it's, they're worthy of the honor. And so what I'll do is I'll list it there and you guys can read it, but uh, she, she has a, man, she has a Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Master's in Sports Management, Life Coach Certificate, Master's in Theology, Doctorate in Theology, okay? So she, does, she, she doesn't just know about God, she knows him, and she knows he's the architect behind true uh, entrepreneurship and business, because that, that, that spirit of entrepreneurship came from heaven, okay? So it is important for us to know that, all right? With that being said, I think I've said enough, because again, <laughs> again, again, you know, there's a lot of people who oh man, I don't know if I'm sure if I, I can afford her. Forget about that side, just listen to her story, and, and if you're interested, you know, we'll make something happen. But I really want to hear from you. I want to hear your heart. I just want to hear about the real Shimona Wimberly. Just start where you want. You can start from your, where you were a little girl or college career or whatever. But Lord, tell, Lord. Tell, yeah, <laughs> tell, listen, tell us about you. That's all we want to know. And then, uh, and then we'll ask some questions later. So without further ado, here is Dr. Shimona Wimberly. Take it away, my sister. All right, Mr. Jimmy, thank you so very much. Okay. You know, I haven't looked at my resume or my, my story, my bio, I should <laughs> really? say, okay. in a long time. So wow. you brought back the memories. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So I want to I wanna thank you so very much for that introduction. Um, mm -hmm. what, what I hope to accomplish on today um, with our interview is to share a little bit about um, some ups, some downs and how you can carry your, how your faith can carry you through um, to get you where you want to be. Okay. And I, I have to say, um, I, one thing that I want people to always remember, you never want to, and my dad told me this, so this is, <laughs> okay. Especially okay. For the young ladies, mm -hmm. You never want to compare yourself to anyone else. Gotcha. So you set your own goals and you'll see that, um, my motto is you define success on your own terms. Okay. And by saying that, um, truly, I tell people, um, you know, set little goals and, and strive to achieve those little goals. And then you'll be able to, you know, achieve what you want. When I look at my friends um, and I celebrate my friends, first of all, in order for you to, to even have <laughs> any amount of ses success, you want to um, celebrate others. Awesome. Awesome. That's Don't a very good principle. I love that. I was, say that again. That was powerful. <laughs> you hmm. must celebrate others success. Okay. Number one, number one principle. Mm -hmm. awesome. If you walk in the spirit of jealousy, guess what? You're doomed. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Go ahead. Keep going. You know, I, I do the TV show with, um, two other young ladies, my friend, Lakeisha Marion and, okay. um, and Leslie Thomas Mitchell. Okay. They're um, network marketers, and I know you're going to talk a little bit about um, okay, MLMs. Yeah. They're involved yeah. in MLMs, yes. and they're very successful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so, how God mm -hmm. prospers us is totally different. Mm -hmm. So, when you said, Mona, you know, God revealed to you that you're a faith agent, and that's truly it. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you nothing that I have ever had or possessed my money has ever bought. Wow, so, wow. And okay. um, 
So when I purchased my first property, I know we weren't directly going to talk about real yeah, estate, yeah, but we yeah. lead in with this. Mm -hmm. When I purchased my first property, um, I knew I was ready to be a homeowner. So I was saving my income tax check. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, this check going to come in and it's like $5,000, right? So I'm <laughs> okay. going to put that down on the house. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, yeah. Look, but this is what I'm telling you. My faith, I didn't understand exactly how I was going to do it, but my faith, gave me the vision and I was looking to get it done. Good. That's amazing. So mm -mm. I said, I'm going to take this $5,000 and I'm going to buy a house. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. Um, every mortgage company that I went to said, well, based upon your credit score, my credit scores were like awful. Um, okay. You don't okay. have enough money to put down. You need mm -hmm. at least 10%. Okay. Like all the odds were get against me. Okay. Wow. So one person finally said, you know what? Let me just qualify this lady just to get her out of here. <laughs> and the amount that she told me I qualified for was like something where you can, you could not even buy a house. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, I'll tell you. So you know, the realtors won't take you out unless you have a pre-qualification, right? Right. Exactly. So I started reversing the role. I said, forget about the pre-qualification, forget about the realtor. And I started looking for a house myself. Wow. I started wow. looking for the houses myself, taking my own self out. And literally, can I tell you the house that I ended up, um, falling in love with, and that mm. house was on the market for four hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. Okay, half a million dollars. Wow. Yes. This is wow. a lady with bad credit. Mm -hmm. This is a lady was talking about five hundred dollars going to buy a house. <laughs> and actually, I knew that four ninety-nine was totally out of my price range. And so when they said they knocked it down to three ninety-nine, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do with that. So, <laughs> um, so let me so make sure I'm understanding this right. You saw it for four ninety nine. It took instantly a, a one hundred thousand dollars off of the off the price tag. Is that right? Wow, that is correct. Crazy. Whew. Wow. So then I I I find out I need a realtor. So I contact this guy, tell him I need want to put in a bid. Yeah. And he was like, Mona, it's totally ridiculous what you're saying. <laughs> right. So I want to put in a bid for three hundred fifty thousand. Um, wow. Wow. So he told he tells me that he did he did and mm -hmm. that they declined. <laughs> okay. Me. Big on me. I go and I call the I call the um the listing agent, which happened to be the owner of the home. Okay. And guess what? I caught them in a position where they were desperate. Wow. They were building a home and they needed they needed the money from this property to move forward. Oh wow. Wow. So, so you found a motivated seller. The motivated seller needed the cash from that deal, okay, to finish what they were doing. Powerful. Amazing. So wow. Now, when we prayed, we said, Destiny Connectors, you need to have people in the right place, and God will direct you to the right people. Wow. So I was able to find a motivated seller that was actually the homeowner that, um, and I put in my bid for three fifty. dollars um, She said, no, that was a little too low. <laughs> uh, what about three seventy five? dollars And I was like, well, no. But still, <laughs> regardless. Whatever she said or whatever I said really didn't matter, but my faith was taking me where I needed to go. So I said, listen to this. I said, what about 360 and you pay my closing costs? And they said, done deal. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, all right. Wait. Now you the real estate guy, so you know what I'm talking about. This sounds crazy. <laughs> it's unheard of. It's unheard of. So, so your faith was working. So you went from 499 down to... Three ninety nine, you told them, listen, I ain't budging. I'll start at three fifty. They met you somewhere in the middle, went below toward where you were, three sixty and closing costs. That's almost like getting it for three forty. If you talk, you're talking closing exactly, costs, exactly because that was like twenty thousand wow. dollars. So you do, you're right. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> All Wait, praises to the Most so, High. All praises. Go ahead. <laughs> so to take it a step further, she asked me, did I have a pre qualification letter? I said no. She mm -hmm. said, well, guess what? I have. Um, a mortgage company and she said if they can't get it done nobody can get it done <laughs> they she refers me to her mortgage loan officer okay he does the deal um i work in the meantime i'm working on my credit mm -hmm. and i get my credit score to whatever this magic number was okay. middle school. and so he was like mona your debt to income ratio is a little off you have student loans and you have some other stuff on your credit he okay. said, so what I'm going to do is go back to the seller and see if they'll give you more money so that um, we can pay off your debts. They paid off my student loans. They paid off my debts on my credit. And at closing, I got money back. 
which you, I use to pay you, my deposits on my light bill, on my water bill, and everything else. So my you went. You got a check back? Oh my gosh! Okay, wow, wow. <laughs> when people keep telling me that they, that it can't be done, your story just takes away every excuse. But the key component is you put your trust in the Most High, and He worked things out. The things that you couldn't do, He found a way to get it done. Put you in the hands of the right people. That's keep going. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, that's that's totally it. Mm -mm. So, um, my words of encouragement to anyone is: first of all, it's just like you said; it's the mindset. Mm -hmm. Number one, you got to operate with your shifting your mindset. You have to take yourself out of the poverty mindset. Okay. I remember um, taking my two sisters um, on a Saturday, okay. and I said, "You know what? We're gonna go see. We're gonna go to some open houses." Mm -hmm. And I took them down Fort Lauderdale Beach. Okay, there were wow. some open houses, and we pulled into the driveway. And the first thing they said was, um, "We can't go here. Why can't we go here?" What? Because our mind had limited them. Their mindset had limited them and told them that they cannot have access to the better things or they, they, they should not be here because this mm -hmm. is, you know, two point something million dollars. No, yeah. you need to go here so you can expand your mindset. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I used to live in Fort Lauderdale. And I, trust me, I know a lot about the area you're talking about. For a lot of those, it's piping hot when it comes to real estate. I mean, there, are, you know, all those properties that's on that's on the waterfronts, and from there all the way down to Miami and Palm Beach, and all. My gosh, it's awesome, beautiful stuff. So you went there. You said you you have to go there to stretch your face. So that's powerful to get out of that mindset. That's that's powerful. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yeah, so to shift your mindset, you need mm -hmm. to have a vision. You need to have um, something that you're achieving for. You know, mm -hmm. because you'll you'll end up being stagnated. Um, yeah. especially, you know what they say, like, um, the people that you hang around or the people that, yeah. you know, you do business with or whatever the case may be, those mm -hmm. are going to be people that's going to stretch you. Yes. And I always tell people, most people don't want to hire a coach, mm -hmm. but everybody needs a coach because a coach has been where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Wow. You may feel that their, their fees or their, um, mm -hmm. their cost is, you know, um, worthy. I'm going to use right. that word, worthy. Um, but they've already been through where you're trying to go. Wow. They have the mindset. They have the vision. They mm -hmm. have the drive to get you where you want to go. Jimmy, it's a lot of time. So even as, as a money coach, mm -hmm. like I said, my, my finances haven't taken me places where I am. And mm -hmm. um, so I recognize and I understand you know, budgets and, you yeah. know, living paycheck to paycheck and, mm -hmm. you know, going through all types of hardship. I've mm -hmm. experienced that. And so, wow. on my programs, I've had the opportunity, you know, because I'm so passionate about people and wanting them to win, like, I'm like, I don't care. Come on, come on, let's work. You know, normally that's, I do charge, yeah, but that's powerful. it's more, it's more, um, for me to see people win and to, you know, turn their situation around. Yeah. Um, that's more important to me than, wow. mm -mm -mm. you know what? I, I just feel like I'll get it back later. Absolutely. I love that. I love that mindset. That's fan That's fantastic. But see, you understand how laws work. There's a, there's a, there's a, the Bible says it best. Galatians chapter six, God is not mocked, right? Whatsoever right. man sowed, that's what he's going to also reap. Genesis says, as long as the earth remains, there shall be seed time and then harvest time. And, and so, so if you keep sowing into other lives, by virtue of you keeping that law, that law will catch you and it has to come back. Am I right? So you, Absolutely. So, so you can't, God's not, Yahuwah, I call him Yahuwah, it's his real name. But God, listen, he ain't going to let you out give him. So you can keep giving all you want, but uh, his law says, no, it's coming back. I love that principle, though. <laughs> That's a real leading principle. It really is. It's awesome. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It is. No, that, so, you know, so that's one of the things, um, mm -hmm. understanding that sometimes you will need to hire a coach. Yeah. Here is the craziest thing that most people don't know. So one thing for me, I, I ended up hiring a relationship coach because okay. I got tired of dating the same type of guys. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> okay. No, this is the truth. I'm Thanks like, for sharing that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if I date one more guy that cheats, that this, that, that, that this, 
all this different stuff. And I get tired of it. And I say, you know what, Mona, you're so pretty. You, you're so successful. You're so professional. You're so this, you're so that. So if I'm so all of that, why am I drawn in the same type people? <laughs> right, right, right. I have a relationship coach. And on day one, day one, through the activity, I realized one thing, that all the years of living, you know, you're taught to love yourself and da da da. You think you have self love, right? And you're achieving all this stuff, and you're you're grinding in your work, and you're doing all the things that you need to do, and you're putting your head down in the sand because guess what? You're hiding something. You're covering up something. And I needed to peel back all those layers and find out who I really was. When I went through my divorce and my husband left, I was like, Who am I? My son went off to college. I was like, Who am I? My, what am I supposed to be doing? And I realized I did not love me. Wow. My identity was defined in my work title. Really? My, the bank. my title was, um, my identity was a, uh, associated with um, yeah. where I live. My identity was who I was associated with. My identity was the organization that I was a part of. My identity was defined by all these different things and not who I truly was. Hmm. So wow. let me tell you what God did. God stripped me of all that. <laughs> God said, in January, you're going to be out of this job. I said, okay. God said, I need you to denounce this one particular um, sorority that I was a part of. God said, okay. denounce that. Because you know okay. what? I'm going to take everything away. Mm -hmm. And I want to see, are you still truly going to depend on me? Or are you going to denounce me? You know, God actually said to me, are you going to be a Judas? Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Deep. Wow. He got deep on so that. I knew I had to go through. Mm -mm. And let me tell you, with all those things being removed from who I am, mm -hmm. I wow. am the happiest in this place. No, I don't have all those things that I used to have. Okay. But my peace, my peace, my relationship yeah. with God is far yeah. more valuable to me That's than amazing. the things that I used to have. And you know why? Because it's eternal. And without him, you can have everything and still have nothing. I'd rather have him and not have nothing. But, but, but even when you have nothing, you still have him, which means you have everything, which means you can have the ability to rebuild it the right way. People think, I'm going to get to the top, and then I'm going to give God what's left over. What happens is you get up there, and I, there's, a, there's an alarming, I hate to say this, but there's an alarming rate right now because of what's going on. Millionaires, some of them might even be billionaires, they're successful, but they're they don't have their relationship, so they're killing themselves. They're doing crazy things. This whole thing, this relationship with the Most High, is critical because the sorority and all those things, those are crutches. That's what they are. Oh, man, I can help you. You know, you, you stick with me, and you graduate. I'll get you a good job, and I'll do all these. Come and on. They, and they're, what they are, they're substitutes for the real thing. And what yes. he's going he's to show you, you know what? I don't care how much money they got. Bill Gates, and I'm calling these names out. They, they, can't, they can't sustain because they can't help themselves when it comes down on them. So why would you put your faith and trust in these systems? I'm serious. And so, yep. so I, don't put, I don't put my trust in this. And, you know, I, yes, I have students. So I don't put my trust in any of that because just like that, Yahuwah can take it. And I'd rather him take it because I, I want on that day for him to say, you know what? I love you, son. Come on in. For him to say, you know, you, you did all these things, but you put me last. I don't know you. And that, that's, the day, that, that's the day I don't ever want to, you know what I mean? So I'm so proud of you for saying, because some people need to hear that. Some women out there, they're, they're a part of certain. I'm not knocking these groups. I'm just saying those groups have become crutches for them. Okay. Right. And they're putting their faith and trust in them. And the, the, one day they're going to find out those groups don't have you. When things go bad, you're going to turn around and nobody's there. You need him. You know, um, you, you, have a, you have a tremendous story. And I hope you guys are getting this. She's saying she did all those things, had everything, and did all these great things. But she realized her relationship with him was more important. Far more important. He's the only one who can keep breath in your body. If I lay down, that job's not going to make me breathe and get out of bed the next morning. It's not going to promise me any good health. I know who can. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people have things, believe it or not, through this crisis. You got some millionaires, they're feasting right now because people need them for, you know, toilet paper and, you know, hand sanitizer and all that. But uh, they don't realize that if they, if they get sick, like a lot of doctors are because they're helping people, Right. Your, your health, your health can just be taken just like that. And so only he can really protect you. So again, the moral of the story is 
put your faith in him, not in your things. And uh, thank you for sharing. That's a demonstration of, <laughs> of his power. No, seriously, it's, people need to take that seriously. So back to you now. I'm sorry. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. where that book came from. Um, okay. How to be social, saved, and successful. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. yes, where that book came from. Yep. Okay. What um, I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put a link uh, when we do this video where they can uh, can they buy it on Amazon or where can they buy it? Yes. Uh huh. They can okay. purchase it on Amazon. Okay. So I'm going to put a link for them to buy the book. I'm pretty sure people are interested in that. Wow. Tell us a little bit about that book if you could. So, um, how to be social, saved, and successful, mm -hmm. and I'm um, sorry, while strategizing to become a better you. So. Okay. How do you balance um, as you transition from who you, you know, who you are or who you were okay. um, and you give your life to God mm -hmm. and, you know, a deeper relationship and how do you still balance, you know, wanting to be successful, you know, tying wow. all those things together. Okay. And um, in that book, I lay out seven strategies. It's actually a, um, it's not really a workbook, but okay. you can actually write in the book because there are questions, there are steps really? you can follow through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow through in the book, and um, and it helps you to go from from one phase starting out mm -hmm. all the way through to the end. So you know how I talked about learning to love yourself, yes. defining who you are, placing mm -hmm. um, barriers and um, mm -hmm. boundaries with people. Okay. So that Fantastic. book is pretty deep. That book is really mm -hmm. deep. Okay. Awesome. I might buy the book myself. Now you got me all fired up. Let's say we got some. <laughs> Let's say we got some older people who are on, and some of them are, and I say baby boomers, are a little older than, you know, I, I'm gonna tell my age now, I'm in my mid 40s, but you know, you have the, the millennials who are a little younger than us, but you have the baby boomers. A lot of them wanna buy, they don't wanna buy a lot of stuff online, but my mom, she's just not getting into the cash app thing, you know, and that kind of, <laughs> So what I'm saying to you is, what if you have a, a client that says, you know, I want the book, but I don't wanna buy it online. Can they pay you through cash app and can you send it to them? Do you have any copies on hand or do they have I to have go online? About, you do? No, no, I have copies on hand. So okay, if someone reaches out to me, email me, text okay. me, okay. call me and say they want, they want a copy of the book, um, okay. I just go to the post office, mail it out, out and they, are, they actually receive an autographed copy. Oh, that's going to be me. I'm, I'm gonna okay. buy, I'm, I, might, I might buy one today uh, through Cash App. How much is the book? The book is $15.99. You, you just made a sale. You didn't try All to make right. a sale. Thank it. you. Yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 so I'm down here, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Thank you for sharing that with us because I think, because again, one of the things I do teach, uh, and, and it's very, very valuable what I'm going to say, no matter how high you go, you always have people, you, there's always people in another stratosphere, another dimension, another level of what you're doing, where you can draw from. So even billionaires, I mean, you know, P. Diddy, he's a, pretty much a billionaire. He's got like five or 10 other billionaires that come to his house sit, personally, sit down and kind of mentor him. So Shimona, you're like, you're my mentor. You know what I mean? I've been watching you a little bit and, uh, and I believe in <laughs> I believe in sowing upward. I sow down too. I give into, you know, we give, but, but sowing is a little bit different. Like when you're trying to reach for higher, higher heights and deeper depths, you go into to the, to the realm of where, okay, this person knows more. We can draw from that. And so today is my day of sowing. I'm going to, I'm going to literally, and I'm, and I'm sowing into me really. Cause when I, when you buy guys, when you, when you sow into yourself, when you to better yourself, you have to do it sometimes with time, but a lot of times with money. And so right. I, I have about 10 other mentors. I got one guy that teaches me fix and flip. I have another guy that teaches me nothing but how to buy other businesses. But, you, but you're the kind of coach I've been, I've been missing in my life. My wife and I both are going to support you. We, we're going to sit down. We're going to read the book together because she needs it too. Because we're not, we haven't arrived. You know what I mean? There's always more to learn. So thank you for offering. I'm, I'm going I'm to lead by example. I'm going to buy one. And, and guys, if you're part of my team, uh, the first 10 people that, yeah, that buy a book uh, from her, I'm going to offer you something free, like a free ebook or free teaching or coaching. I was offering free vacations, but nobody's traveling wow, right that's now. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're going to make that happen. So go ahead. We got like another 10 or 15 minutes, but I want you to, I'm not trying to interrupt you. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. You can just share with us what you like, okay? Because you have so much to share. All right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. Jimmy, um, yeah. you mentioned, um, you mentioned me being your coach, <laughs> your money yes. coach. But yes. can I tell you, I, I'm trying to think, how did, I'm, I can't even remember how I joined your group. I don't but either. I, know, <laughs> I don't either. I, mm -hmm. I think I was just flipping through Facebook and I really? saw somebody um, advertising something about some property. Really? I okay. And then I noticed the guy was in your group and I joined your, your group. 
Yeah. And then, so because um, I'm still well connected and people reach out for, to me for mortgages, like yeah. the guy called me from Florida yesterday, he was like, I want to be pre-qualified. I'm like, I'm no longer working for the bank. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. my name, see that? Now this is how God will position you. Come yeah. on. Yes. My yes. name's still listed in the yellow pages and oh, I still wow. get calls wow. for mortgages. Powerful, man. Woo! Woo! That's powerful. And every time I'll ask them, well, how did you find me? They always say Google. They Google looking yeah. for a mortgage loan officer in Florida. That's fantastic, man. That's, That's awesome. crazy. Wow, man. Mm -mm -mm. And so mm -mm. Um, I say that to say I'm a person that always refer back business. So yes. you really didn't even know me. You didn't, didn't know me. I, I was didn't know you. somebody in your group. Somebody yep. reached out to me yep. looking for a loan. And I said, hey, you need to call this person. You did. And you reached that back out and said, hey, thank you for that referral. Sure did. That's how we, how we build the relationship. So sure did. I'm just telling you, see, so sowing and weeping is key. <laughs> it's, it's so real, right? I want to say something, too. A lot of y'all probably saw the video I did with, with uh, Lisa Davenport. We were able to, to help her. I'm not going to go into the, to the details, but we were able to get right. her funding, financing. And that, that particular refer, she's excited, by the way. She has a nice thriving business up in Warren, Ohio, but that referral came through Shimona Wimberly. Shimona, thank you. And you got, you got another pastor from Dallas, Texas. We're looking to yep. get him, we're looking to get him funded. Maybe we're trying to get him a mortgage deal for, he's trying to buy a church for 200 grand and a yep. couple other things you got going, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And so I want to um, also give a shout out to your wife. Um, okay when okay. I needed a couple of flyers and okay. she's actually the young lady that put together the flyer and the upcoming conference that I'll be okay. doing on May 14th. Yes. Uh, for small business owners. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited because you're going to be on my, yes, I <laughs> am. Be on my conference call. Yes. And what we're looking to do is to um, mm -hmm. help businesses, small business owners, whether you're looking to be a startup, Mm -hmm. um, whether you're, you're you're an existing small business owner right. and you need more working capital, so this is my um, prophetic word. Yes, that I gave my friend. Okay, I'm gonna give it to everybody. Okay. I was walking my dogs one day, and when I was getting ready to walk back in, God said, um, "Forget the formal things. Forget mm. how it used to be, because it's not going back that way." Okay. So wow. I began to sit, I began to do my research and sit still. And let me okay. tell you, mm. what everybody needs to get in position, get out of panic mode. Yeah. Because wealth is getting ready to change hands. Wow. Because there are going to be some business owners. There are going to be um, mm -hmm. some homeowners that again that are going to be in a motivated position and ready yes. to walk away from their businesses, ready to walk away from their buildings. Mm -hmm. ready to just walk away because their resources are dry. Yeah. Wow. What? That's a huge opportunity. Mm -mm -mm. And I believe, wow. and I'm going to prophesy this, yes. that there will be, and I'm not speaking against, but I'm just telling you, yeah. there are going to be some financial um, mm -hmm. organizations that will not be able to continue to carry <laughs> the load. Yeah, yeah. Um, they wow. may go under, whatever the case may be, but some <laughs> people are going to walk away with some free houses. Oh, wow. We Y'all better write that down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me write it down real quick. <laughs> Listen, I got my pen and paper. Look, I don't play. Yeah. Listen, let me I don't, tell you I, don't, I, don't, I don't play with the prophetic word. The prophetic Listen, word. let me tell you this. Yeah. I was with my friend, my best friend, Leslie, when I was in Florida. Uh-huh. And I said, Leslie, you're going to buy a house this year. She said... Um, I said, you're going to buy a house this year. I said, it looks like November. She was like, no. She said, Mona, I'm looking to buy a house now. I was like, okay. It was like January, February. Yes. And she called me yesterday. She said, Mona, you won't believe this. She said, I'm looking to do some things. And they said, I'm going to close in November. She said, do you remember telling me that? Honestly, sometimes I say, because yeah. you know, when you're That's under a prophetic the word, word. you speak, God give you a yeah. word. Yes. And you were you don't always remember what you said. Exactly. That's how you know he did it because so he's that's why I told it's supernatural. Write that down because y'all might come back to me and say, "Mona, now you said." <laughs> listen, but listen. Mm -mm -mm. And the Holy Ghost, or the Rural Kakadesh, the Holy Ghost, the the inspired it, when he inspires the prophet to speak. We don't. It's it's not our job to remember everything and try to know everything. We just speak it by faith, and that's how he gets the glory out of it. So what you just said, 
you may not remember it a couple, but I'm going to bring it back into your remembrance because guess what? I've been believing for property. I mean, we're looking at things now and the way things are going. We're looking to pick up property with little to no money down. Or, but now you're saying we're going to be able to receive them for free. Uh, Absolutely. I'm standing on that. I'm standing on it. Knocking on wood. But like, let, me, let me put my shoes up. Y'all see these wings? You see? Y'all see my wing tips? I, I'm just listen. I'm just like, huh, huh, huh. I receive that. Yes, yes, I am. So that was something I wanted to tell you. I forgot what it was, but I'll let you keep going. I'm all excited now. Wow, I'm ready for my house. <laughs> Cause no, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I, and I won't, I won't buy right now because of the market where I am. It's a beautiful home I'm in. I mean, I'm paying twelve hundred dollars a month, and it's uh -huh. a big, big basement, five bedroom, three bathrooms. Five bedroom, three bathrooms. Wow. It's just me and my wife. It's twelve fifty a month, but I always tell other investors, it's not always wise just to buy because you, because you know, because uh, I, I was of the impression that I don't want to rent, I don't want to rent. But if you buy something and the market crash, you're stuck with it. You have right. to be, you have to be wise. You know what I mean? It's the same yeah. thing with buying a new car. If you buy that car, sometimes cash, that's better off because you can fix it up and get more out of it. But if you keep making these monthly payments for like seven or eight years and it depreciates, that's not a good deal unless you actually have good credit and you lease it for four years. You can give it back to the dealership because you know they're always it, the the odds of it of tearing up is is very slim in the first four years. Or you put a lot of money into an antique car, you know what I mean, and, and it's worth like a hundred grand. But other than that, you know you got to be very wise when you're buying a car. I never recommend buying a brand new car unless you can pay cash for it and get out of that thing. It's the same thing with housing. Like, uh, oh, you know what? You told me a little bit about a car you bought for cash, didn't you? You want to share that? Yes. Okay. Please, I want to hear that. Um, the car that I bought for cash? Yes. I thought you said you paid um, pay cash so for a car. Sold, back. When I sold the, um, mm -hmm. the property that we were talking about earlier? Yes. I paid off all my debts. I was like, wow. I didn't even know, like, the smart thing that it yeah. didn't seem like it was a smart thing to do to pay mm -hmm. off my debt because I could have invested or okay. whatever the case may be, but yeah. it wasn't enough to, um, to get into a property in my okay. situation. I was um, starting my business launching okay. my jewelry business. So, oh, wow. Okay. You know, as far as my employment and all that good stuff, mm -hmm. um, at the time, it just wasn't the right time. Yeah. So I decided to take the road of paying off all my debt and to That's buy, great. to buy my dream car. Oh, wow. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. Um, and, I, and I actually bought it at a auction. Well, I started off buying it at an yeah. auction, but, um, smart. That's smart. <laughs> not want to sell it for that low so i end up going to the dealership and still getting it at a dealership yeah discount. yeah yeah um but That's i did fantastic. buy the car mm -hmm. i did pay for the car cash but i'm saying look at my situation now mm -hmm. i literally have no income i started a jewelry company right yeah. now i'm not trying to push people yeah. you know people yeah. are trying to buy they they're working on their essentials they're working exactly on that, you know they right. need food water blah 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 now right. it's just me and maybe mm -hmm. it's who my spirit, my heart. Yeah. Um, I just don't see right now trying to push, um, <laughs> push people yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to buy jewelry, and I probably could put it out there on sale, and which I, I will. I'll come I up get you. I get you. It, but I, I don't get you. have stable income right okay. now. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So what if I had not paid off my debts? Wow. Exactly. You would have been. You'd have been stressing about how you're going to do this, how you're going to pay that, meet that. So in the long run, the spirit of the Most High gave you wisdom. Because you, you're right. Sometimes you don't want when you're cash rich, you don't want to. That's what investors tell you. Try to borrow other people's money and make your down payments. But in your situation, you paid everything off completely. So they can't come and take it back from you. Right. Right. That was very right. wise. Exactly. That was very but, wise. You know, here's the other crazy thing. God said, um, mm -hmm. you will never be broke another day in your life. And what I tell you. Wow. <laughs> oh, I received that. <laughs> OMG. When I've happened, seen I was that. like, I, honestly, I was in panic mode. Were you? I really was. I yeah. did. I have yeah. to be totally honest. Mm -hmm. And I had to pray and I said, God, you know, I'm going to stand on that one word. Mm -hmm. He said, you'll never be broke another day in your life. And my bank account has not gone dry. Now, I'm not going to say it. I will go low. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes dry. Because some people are in the negative. But, but you, have okay. no, you have no idea how many people you're ministering to right now. Because I talk to people every single day. Clients, realtors, investors. A lot of them are, you know. Because of what happened, the pandemic, uh, and, and I have students, they are, they, right. they are, they are a lot of, it's a lot of fear going on because, you know, television, all those things getting there and they forget that, you know what, no matter what's on the news, I have to keep a positive mindset. And you have no, no idea how many people 
your blessing by when you, when you say the things you're saying about, you know, you, you, you're just trusting, you, you're trusting, I'm totally on, trusting on a word you got from heaven that you won't be broke because a man, another listen, day in my life, <laughs> another day in your life. Listen, no man, unless he's prophetically inspired by the most high, going to tell you that in, in this current state, right? Yes. So it's important to understand spiritually it's, it's God first, not even the wife or husband. This is what I tell people or your relationship, God first, your relationships. And then that spiritual side of going to church and all that, then you have your businesses and all that down here. But if you start putting your business above him, how are you going to be able to hear his voice, especially in a time like right now? So mm -hmm. you, heard, you heard the voice, got the revelation, and the revelation, you're living on a revelation that you're not going to be broke again. And that revelation, I'm living on the revelation. It, it will carry you, you know. And guess what? I'm on that same page with you, sister. Me and you are right. Listen, take off my glasses. We are right here. I'm, I'm going to tell, tell my wife I got the same word. Arlene, I got a word today. We won't be broken another day in our life. Come okay. on. All praises. All praises. Yes. Jamar, you are awesome. You are really awesome. You know what? I got to do another recording, but I wish I could spend another 30 minutes with you. So can we do a part two of this? We can. We'll, we'll love okay. to. You know what? Okay. And like I said, you look gorgeous. I like your Thank hair. Thank you. I love your hairstyle. I like the hair on here too, but uh, you look, you're very astute and well-spoken and you're just a very powerful individual. I mean, now in closing, I want you to let, let everyone know um, your dot com. I'm going to put it at the top, but if you want to say it and uh, okay. you, don't have, you don't have to talk about fees because you say it all depends on the person right. in the situation. If you want right. to get any other information, if you want to give your phone number or anything, I'll, I'll list that if you want or your business phone and, 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 and let them know if they can set up an appointment. Do you have like a, a calendar or something like that? Tell us a little bit about how to reach you and, and, and what you're doing right now. What kind of coaching are you going to be focusing on? Um, right now, I am still focusing on money coaching. I'm also helping small businesses um, with their business as well as with their personal. Um, strategically okay. get back in line with what their vision is for their business and for their personal finances. Okay. Um, I can be reached. Okay. My, my, I'm going to give my personal cell phone. Oh, awesome. Wow. That's a privilege. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. And that's going to be 817-264-1479. Okay. Repeat that one more time. 817-264-1479. Okay. And they can also reach me on my website at mm -hmm. www my name Shimona Wimberly. Okay. Dot com. And I know you said you'll put that out there for uh, yes. for them as well. Absolutely. And also, um, and just to let small business owners know, guess what? They need to join us on May 14th at okay. 7 30. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, seven o'clock. Okay. Eastern Standard Time. Awesome. Awesome. And, and guys, I am a personal lender. I mean, I'm not, I'm not some broker. She'll tell you that because my partner and I do all kinds of things. We can't do everything, but we, we, we mainly right. focus on businesses that are existing. If they have bank statements, we can fund them within like five days. And, or if they have an assets, we, we do asset based, we cash out, you know, and borrow against that property. That's what we do. I've done several deals like that. And she brought me, like I said, we brought, she brought me Miss Davenport and we did a good job with her. And yes. Uh, yes, so I'm going to see if I can have me and him on, the, on that call with you on that webinar um, okay. and, and, and like four or five more of the guys I know who are direct lenders because uh, Shimona, you, you, you are trying to scale this thing up. You're trying to help as many people as possible. And I love what you're doing. Above all, I love your integrity, character and your tenacity. OK, a, a special word I always use is called stickability. You have an ability to stick. OK, people yes. who, who persevere have tenacity, have went through hard times, and then you succeed. And then so if something happens along the way, those are the people that tend to, to stay there. They have more balance. And I think that's been lacking. You know, the biggest lie, I think some, I would say gurus teach people, because you're not a guru, you're a real mentor. Gurus give, they have you buy this big kit, three or 4,000, and they tell you, you do this and you're going to prosper and you're going to be fine. And what they don't tell these people is you Come have on. to develop, yeah, you have to develop you. You have to something Tony Robbins calls self-mastery. And I think you'll be a great self-mastery coach. Stop trying to master the deal, you know, buying the car at a certain price or getting the properties and being a millionaire in real estate. Master you. Master your, you know, the things that you're weak at. Find somebody else who's better. Find out yes. what's going on with your attitude. Why don't people want to do business with you, you know? Tony Come Robbins on. said, yeah. Tony Robbins said something powerful. I like it. He said, he said, I don't take on a lot of clients. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, he's Tony Robbins. He said, I have about five clients and they all pay me about $1 million per year for my time. I only work with people who are serious mm -hmm. and they really have a desire to, to get their business to the next level without complaining, murmuring. If you're not coachable, trainable, and teachable, you are not a candidate for this type of, you know, to, to be coached. And I said, man, four or five, well, he's making a million dollars per person, but he, puts every, but he puts everything into it to develop that person. And he went on to say some of the guys he coached are not coaching him back because they went on to start Fortune 500 companies. What am I saying about Dr. Shimona? Shimona might have been that, she might have been the missing link that a lot of you have been looking for, but you have to be serious. You need to be dedicated to it. Guys, last year, most of y'all who are watching this, I had over 500 students globally, 50 here in the US, all right? Some of you were paying 99 bucks a month. Some of you were paying $250 a month. And then I did the first six months of the coaching for free, okay? What we have to understand is even though a coach gives that out, I want you guys to understand that time is valuable, our time and your time, okay? So that's why my wife said to me after six months, Jimmy, maybe you need to charge a fee for your time because I had everybody calling. And then when I turn around and try to reach back out, I couldn't get them on the phone. So, <laughs> so, guys, so guys, listen, take her seriously. She's, again, she's, she's my coach. I'm telling you right now, I have a coach and I have some other coaches, but you are my coach, okay? And I appreciate you, I appreciate you taking, taking the time out of your busy schedule to come on here, okay? All right, well, thank you so very much for having me and it yeah. has been a pleasure. Yes, I wanna say one thing I always say, uh, I'll see you at the top, okay? We're, all, we're gonna get there together, but I wanna see you up here, Shimona, okay? Okay, absolutely, Blessings. I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Blessings, take care, Blessings. okay? Blessings, have bye -bye. a great day. You too, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.